Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Happy Happy Jace Day. It is Jace Day today, which means Jace is unbanned and modern today. I don't know when this video is going up. Probably the soonest it would be is Wednesday. So, uh, by then, we should actually have some, some modern matches going. So, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, be sure to check that out on Twitch today. Because we're probably playing some modern. I think we're just taking this Kite Sail Corsair. That is a good dude. A 2-1 flyer for two in this format? In this format? In this economy? Come on. I haven't had Hungry Howies since college. Well, you know what they say. It's never too late for Hungry Howies. That's what they say. That rare does not seem like a rare you want to pick in this format. Four mana for a tutor? That is not where you want to be, buddy. Oh, this guy again, huh? And this old chestnut. I'm pretty sure it's just this guy, right? 2-2 two, two for 2, we're get double strike? That seems good. Oh my god, Exol. I hope you, I, I assume you saw my post today, so... I assume we're on the same page. Or it could just be Crashing Tide. It's one of these two. These are both good. This commits us to... Well, it doesn't commit us, but it puts us in, in blue-red, whereas this just keeps us blue. I think it's Crashing Tide. I don't know how good this guy is, but like a 2-2 Double Striker if you have 10 permanents, not great. I'll just be Crashing the Tide. Wow, a third one? Good lord. I think there was one in our first pack, too, so that's three packs with this guy. This pack is great, though. You got Spirewinder, Deadeye Rig Hauler, Stormfleet, Swashbucky, and uh, Trail Trailblazy. You haven't been impressed with the Crashing Tide? You need to get out of here. You need to just get out of here. Is it Rig Hauler? Or, I think it's Rig Hauler or Trailblazer. I think these are the best cards in this pack. Those are my opinions. I'm going to keep taking the blue cards. I mean, eventually I feel like we're going to have to take some red cards, but I don't think we're there yet. I think Crashing Tide is just fine. Crashing Tide number dose. We could also just start picking up Merfolk if that's the thing that's open, so. Yeah, Silver, if Silver Dad was sack a creature, that would be amazing. Considering it's sack a permanent, they can just be like, all right, I'll sack my seventh land. You're just like, oh, well, that's too bad. That is unfortunate. Oh, now we get Dead Eye Brawler, though? That's pretty good. Also, Sailor of Memes? Man. Do we just take the Sailor and just be, like, Blue X? I'm going to keep taking the blue cards. <laughs> Come on, it's Jace Day. I have to take the blue cards. Unbelievable. This guy's great, but this guy's also very, very good. I'm going to take the Sailor, though. Oh, I like red-green after this. We can do a red-green. I mean, if it comes to us. You know, it's like... I don't want to force it if, it's, if there's no good red-green cards. But I think I've indicated that I don't have a problem doing red-green in, in limited. Oh, another Sailor? Yes, please. Do people not know how good this card is? I don't understand what it is. So Ali and Trazi, my one of my one of my BFFs, Ali and Trazi just said sent to me a uh, a screen cap of someone on there it is. Uh, saying, quite frankly, I find it absolutely disgusting that Chase the Mind Sculptor ever became a thought to be unbanned, let alone actually be unbanned. I think this unbanned just killed what modern, what made modern great diversity. And, like, posts like that, I'm just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what even are you saying right now? That's, like, just the most un- in uh, what, are you, what are you even saying? Why? Why is that true? Don't do qualify it with something. Give me a reason. Tell me why. Paint a picture for me so that I can explain this this hy hyperbolic opinion that you're sharing with me. 
You like your C-Red over Trailblazer? I think Trailblazer, like, the bread and butter of these decks is the two drops that can attack through guys. And Despiter is good. And Despiter is good. We also have Vampiric Revenant if we don't want to be... I don't mind Dust Charger. I like Revenant, too. I think we're just... I think with the... Yeah, this guy's fine. Wow. All right. We're not going to be playing three Death Spitters. God, there's so many... There's so many three drops, man. Mike, I totally did take a shower. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I appreciate you checking up on my... On my cleanliness. Oh, Pirate's Pillage is great here. I'll take Big Green Idiot. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. That's what I always say. That's a good point. I never thought about that. I have a problem. Every time I cast Sailor of Means, I can't help say, get one Tide Pod, do you know the way? And it's starting to irritate friends, but I can't help myself. What do I do? <gasps> we did it. We did it, boys. What's this dude even going for? Like 20 million tickets? And it's amazing and limited, by the way. This is all we've ever wanted. This dude is 26 tickets. Get out of town, dude. Woo! 26. It sells for 26 tickets. Unbelievable. Wow. 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 That's unbelievable, man. And it's such and it's a perfect card for our deck. I can't even handle it. I can't. I can't even handle it. This pack is terrible for us, so I guess we deserve that. We do have pillage and double sailor, so it is possible to um to splash something here if we wanted to. That is not David Carradine, no. His name is like Wally something or other. Is it just secrets here? Are we just playing three drop dot deck? Is it mutiny? I don't know. Like, Mutiny always takes care of the smallest creature. I don't know what to do here. It's either one of these two. I definitely agree. I'm going to take Mutiny because we don't have that much removal. Oh, another two drop. Deal. That's a good deal. God, there's a Reggie, a Relentless Raptor, a Forerunner, and a Seafloor Oracle. All of these are pretty decent. I'm just going to take the two drop because I don't have many. And I'm a fan. I wanna be your lover, baby. I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna take the two, the other two. This is basically a two drop. It's actually a three drop, but we have enough. Like pirate, 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 pirate. Like we have enough pirates. Plus, if we get that dude on turn one, it's just real good. Wow, literally nothing in this pack. So this is just a 2-2 two -two for four. That's a good deal. 
I mean, we could just take this and, and, and hit a dinosaur. I don't know. It's not great. Might be better than River Darter, but I don't I don't think so. Depends on what we open. Like, if we open, like, two charging Monstrosaurs or something ridiculous, like, that's cool, but... Eh, I think it's just better. I'm not going to play the River Darter, really, so we'll just take that guy. Uh, it might just be sea legs. Wow, how do I always, every draft I do, I end up with double silver clad Ferocidon. It's super weird. I'm actually going to take Brawler and try to splash it off of the, uh, all the, all the pirate treasure I have. Mm, Shake is good, but not for us. Like, good lord, it kills all, all of our two drops. I think it's, I'd rather just have the, the, the three, two. And maybe pick up, like, a crown or something at some point. There we go. See, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, five drop is fine. This is a reasonable deck. I don't think it's I don't think it's over the top by any means, but I think it's fine. But then again, we have some really power powerful stuff like Rekindling Phoenix, Double Sailor, Double Crashing Tide. So. <laughs> Slightly better than D-Legs, but worse than B-Legs. That's a fair assessment. Oh, Seafloor Oracle came back. I don't think we're playing that because we have literally no Merfolk, but... I mean, we're not going to play any of these other guys either, so... Might as well just take the rare, see what we open, whatever. Hey, River Darter came back. Look at that. Everything we ever wanted in life is coming back. We still do have one merfolk. Come on, Mike, get it get it together, buddy. I'm really excited for this guy. They have to kill this and then kill it again. That's pretty good. Oh, I think they're two different kinds of oracles. You know, it's it's you don't you don't get your oracles confused because that's oracleist. But I imagine they I imagine they talk to each other. I imagine they're they're friends. And we've already won. Like this is 26 tickets. Draft is over. Two two dudes, two merfolk. Can you imagine if our opponent is is playing dinosaurs and we just get to throw in these double river darters and the sea floor oracle and just draw two three cards a turn? I'm going to put this guy in the sideboard for now. He is not impressing me. Run aground. Favorable wins. Favorable wins doesn't seem great here. We don't have, we have... What do we have? Like two, three flyers? Literally three flyers? Four? Okay. Water Trap Weaver just seems better. Run aground seems better. Either way, this pack is not impressive. It's probably Water Trap Weaver. And if we get enough Merfolk, we can actually just start playing Seafloor Oracle, maybe? Who knows? This guy's good, though. How many Sailor of Means is too many? Are we there yet? I don't think so. Also, Tinali's Crown on a Sailor is a 4-4, four -four, so... My thoughts on the JSON ban? Clearly you missed my hour and a half stream where I was raving about it this morning and the uh, 
the 10 minute YouTube video I made this morning where I was uh, completely shocked and supporting of it. So, but if you miss those two things, I am a okay with it. Awakening Sun's avatar. Ooh, can we cast that off of three Sailor Remains? Uh, probably not. Brute is good. Pirates is okay. I don't mind another five drop when we only have one so far, so... I don't really want another three drop, especially like, I don't think that guy's, this guy's, it's, it's, he's good, but like, I don't know if we really need it. This does let us cast anything. I think, I think it's pirates here. I mean, we can, we can just take some things to splash. We have pirates, three sailors and a, and a pirate's pillage here. There's a lot of, a lot of clues, treasures, whatever they are. A lot of artifacts you sacrifice. Oh, Dreamcaller Siren and? Really? You're going to make me pick? All right, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I don't know which one's better here. Tell me what I'm picking, especially because this guy can tap two dudes. <laughs> don't tell me I have hiccups now. I'm not thrilled about that. Which one is it? I think it is Siren, but I like Air Elemental a lot. Maybe it'll come back, right? I'm sure the Air Elemental will come back. This is also another Siren. This is another uh, pirate we can use for Daring Buccaneer as well. The problem is this guy can only uh, ambush block creatures with flying, which is a little more limited. Because most of the creatures in this format with flying outside of like Kite Sail Courser will trade with it. Like the 3-1 Vampire trades with it. Uh, this guy trades with it. The 3-3 three, three Flyer trades with it. There's a ton of creatures that just trade with it. Unfriendly Fire. That's pretty good. Oh, Tesseract 1. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. I'm pretty sure you've subbed before, haven't you? Either way, I really appreciate it. You are awesome. I will take Unfriendly Fire. This deck is a little bit interesting but it seems good it seems okay we have a lot of power with like rekindling phoenix um dream caller siren a bunch of ways to deal with things like uh crashing tides mutinies unfriendly fire we have a lot of ways do we do we definitely do win all our games with unfriendly fire you are not wrong how about another one how about two unfriendly fires that seems good I like Cannon Blast, but Unfriendly Fire just seems so much better to me because it goes to the face. 4-3, huh? Wow, another one. I don't think people appreciate Unfriendly Fire as much as I do. Which is very apparent. Um, I don't even hate splashing for a March of the Drowned just because we, have, we can get back like a Rekindling Phoenix or a Siren and something else. I might just want this because we have a million ways to cast it off of treasures. And we get another blast anyway. Or a perilous voyage. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go with blast here. Favor one's looking better now that we have a <laughs> Dreamcaller Siren in the deck. I don't think we're going to play it, but I think it's... We're not going to play Stormfleet. Eh, whatever. I'll just take the Stormfleet Arsonist. 
Sky Terror is actually a playable card with uh, all of our fixing. This is an interesting pack because all four of these are moderately playable for us. Like, not really playable, but kind of playable. Take Canopy. Mm, take Bronto Dawn. None of these cards matter. I like having a cancel for the sideboard. That's pretty good. All right, so now we have 25 cards. We need two cuts. Maybe we can cut one Sailor. We can cut sea legs pretty easily. Brona, enjoy your productive uh, productive afternoon. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We can cast Gregory, probably. Who's Gregory? I don't even know what that means. Gregory. This guy actually isn't terrible for us. 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Uh, four, 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 four. Four four uh two two but also a four four so Gregory is the eight mana nine nine what in the earth Antares good good to hear man thank you so much really appreciate it um we need one more cut it's got to be a three drop right maybe a venom spitter death spitter rather yeah this deck looks great do we put one one Swamp in is the question. We have one, two, three sailors, a pirates, and a pirates. Which is basically having five black sources, right? I don't think we do. I think we're more concerned with playing Rekindling Phoenix. All right, I like this deck. I think it looks pretty sweet. So that's my that's my assessment. Yeah, this seems okay. To answer the question on your YouTube video, Jace was legal and modern for about four days from format inception to the first BNR. If a store ran the modern event during those days, you could use it. Then it was banned along with Myriad of Cards. Bloodbraid, however, was not banned until later on when Jen became the number one deck, thanks to Death Rite. Uh, she was erroneously... Yeah, I agree. A lot of people think that because um, Death Rite was the real culprit that uh, Bloodbraid Elf got a bad rap. And I think that's true. She's been in prison for all this time. Wrongly imprisoned. Tiravis, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the welcome back. Really appreciate the two month sub. Alright, well, that's not a black land, but we got our one black card in hand and no no treasures. It just makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Oh, it's a little dumpling. What up, little dumpling? <laughs> oh man. Good times, good times. We will try. We will. We will definitely be trying. As far as I can tell, on Wednesday we will definitely be trying out a Sultai list on stream. So, with Jace the Mind Sculptor, better than all. Mama's little dumpling love shortening, shortening. Mama's little dumpling of shortening bread. Oh my god, Luke, you're ridiculous. <laughs> Luke, I promise I will definitely play a blue Tron list for you at some point. Because it's almost at a point where it's impossible not to now. 
Oh, you didn't want to come at me with your little, uh, your little chickadee? Cool. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Don't have that second white. Oh, that's what we're looking for here. Mama's little baby loves dumpling bread. Oh god, what if they go second white and then they have it? Oh god. That's terrifying. Dumpling bread. <laughs> yeah, it's something all right. I'm just going to do it. It doesn't... If we don't play a guy, like, they can't... We don't have a dude, so whatever. You got it. Really tempted to just keep the unfriendly fire for their face. Like, they're basically at 14. Like, we just have to fade, like, a bunch of turns. <laughs> I'm going to cannonade blast this guy so we're not taking a million damage. I would love to have uh, a black mana. Like, if we go Sailor next turn, we can also play Deadeye Brawler, which is a pretty good turn. I'm okay with that. Oh, you know, one of the cards in your hand. I'm tempted to just kill this guy, too, because it's just such a good... Oh, that's scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man. So what do we do? We put you to four. If we Let's say we play this guy, right? We Not four. I don't know why I said four. We put you to 12. And we have Rekindling Phoenix. And then we bounce your guy with Crashing Tide. And we attack you for seven, so we put you to five. We can attack with both Flyers and then Unfriendly Fire your face. That seems pretty good, because you're spending this whole turn casting. Your thing. Oh, what up, Alan? Good seeing you, buddy. I love that you left the stream window open. That's fantastic. So, you know, it's, it's effortless. It's really good for everybody. So now they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, untap 6, 2 less mana, play Zatalpa. We bounce it, we hit you for 7, put you to 5, you have to replay it next turn, we attack with both flyers, and then we unfriendly fire. That is the plan that we're looking at right now. That's the world I want to live in. Looks like you got a... You're, you're, you're really helping us out here with our plan. Go back home... And we'll just play a Courser here just to uh, make sure we have enough Flyers to actually seal the deal. I 
I mean, they're at five. I'd rather just bounce the mana. I'd rather just bounce the Talpa and kill their face. But uh, that's just me. I think you're just dead, though, right? All my guys fly. Even if you block the 4 3, you take five. I don't even need to show you in Friendly Fire. All right, that's another answer, I guess. What could you have for one mana? I don't really want to risk it, so I'm actually just going to. I'm just going to tap your guy down. All right, that'll do. I think cancel is probably pretty good here. That is a dude I kind of want to cancel. I'm going to take the mutiny out because they have a bunch of two X's. Like, they had a 2 4, they had a 2 1. Like, I'll bring in a cancel for a mutiny. That seems good. Mama's little dumpling got short bread, short bread. Mama's little dumpling got short bread. Not that it really matters, but your rent is for 420 now. I know you were charging for stipulation drafts for deck critiques. What do I get for 2250? You know, I'm kidding. Hit me up after the stream if you can. And what about that ban? Yeah, Brian, I actually uh, streamed for about an hour and a half this morning talking about the ban and restricted changes. Uh, I was super excited. <laughs> so. Uh, I made a 10 minute video and then after that I just kept streaming for the the other hour and 20 minutes just talking to everybody and discussing points and things so that was fun but yeah if you guys uh, haven't haven't seen it go check out youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. I posted I posted my prediction video yesterday saying that they could safely unban Jason Bloodbraid Elf and today I posted my response video to them unbanning Jason Bloodbraid Elf so that was pretty cool that was a good time. Also, Brian, thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate it. You are always awesome, as you know. We submitted our deck, right? <laughs> Just making sure. Mike B might be joining us soon. He just woke up. It's like 3.30. He's like, hey, just woke up. You want some, uh, you want to hang out and uh, you want me to join the stream? And I was like, yeah, all right. I'll allow it. Did you see? Did you see the news? Yeah, I did. Oh, my God, dude. You predicted it. You got Bloodbraid and Jay's right? Unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't actually watch your video, but I saw the Blood Barrel card, so I assumed you thought it was that one, too. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Jace the Mind Sculptor in Modern, man. Yeah. What a time to be alive. We're up a game. We got a, we got a Phoenix in here. A Phoenix? Yeah, this dude. Oh, this 26-ticket Phoenix. If it dies, it comes back, right? Yeah. And then you when it dies, you return it to the battlefield as an 01, and then during your upkeep, you sacrifice it to bring the Phoenix back. So, hmm, interesting. So they have the the chance to kill the 01. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Good luck. Oh, you're already prepping, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is this just standard? What? The format. No, this is this is a draft. Oh, you got that. Okay. Yeah, we opened a Phoenix. I was excited for some crazy Phoenix deck. That morning voice, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just opened the Phoenix, and uh, it was our first pick in the pack, too. 
seems pretty decent. You're right. Wednesday can't come soon enough. Wednesday is when they're legal on Moto, so. Our opponent's really taking their time here. It can be a tough decision. <laughs> Deciding whether they want to play or not? Yeah. How much needs to be tipped to get Mike B sloshed? Wow. <laughs> I mean, I just woke up. I don't know about all that. We got Hungry Howie's tonight, too, man. Oh, yeah. What am I going to stream Wednesday? Probably a, a Sultai deck. LaFoe, tell you what. You send me a Sultai list with, with Jace the Mind Sculptor in it, I will play it. I don't know what we're waiting for here. I do. I definitely do not mean bug. I I mean sultai, sultai all the way, brah. Man, people love to die on that horse. I know, dude, man. That's No, it's bug and rug. I love my <laughs> buggy rugs. <laughs> I I love my junk and my American. Wait, what what about the other countries that have red, white, and blue on their flag? I don't care. American or die. So how you guys been? You guys come here a lot? It's uh it's a nice day outside. How is it? It looks all right. Does it not? Yeah, it looks all right. What, what little, problem is it? A little gray. A little gray. Elk Tears, how do you know LaFoe? And every time I say LaFoe, I think of Shia LaBeouf. I'm like, Shia LaFoe? Because that's funny. Shia LaBeouf. Hey man, let me ask you a question. Yeah, man. Why is it funny? It was good because when you said it, you're like, hey, man, let me ask you a serious question. Why is that funny? Oh, man, what a time to be alive. I love this new, like, user X is new, say hello, and then people actually say hello, and it's actually super awesome. Because you just walk into a chat, and then people just start talking to you automatically. What a time to be alive, man. I like that people are just joining the stream right now and then they're just watching us sit here while our opponent decides to mulligan to, to even play first, I guess. I don't know what's going on. You know what's the worst part about getting sick? Uh, that you're sick? I can't tell if I'm getting better or not. I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been your friend for 10 years and I guarantee you're not getting better. Oh, hey, girl. Hey. Hey, Jeff. Who's your fit young friend? And is he single? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, God. A couple of streamers were like, don't tell me what to do, Twitch. What if they don't want to say it? What? No, just say hello, man. Be nice. Just be friendly. Yeah, last game they had Zapalta, the the big like four eight dragon, the 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 dinosaur that costs like eight mana, that has all the abilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they played it, and then I bounced it, and then I attacked him for like nine or something, and they played it again, and then I tapped it, and then I attacked him for like seven again, and it was just they lost that game. The big dumb dinosaur trap. Mike's voice is so sultry; it really is. You could probably be a blues singer right now. Can you tell us about uh? About what happened to your lady? My lady down in Georgia. <laughs> that was better than I expected it to be, man. I think you're missing your calling, to be quite honest. It only happens when I'm sick, man. How long have you been smoking? 30 years. <laughs> Longer than I've been alive. My mother was feeding me cigarettes in the womb. Yeah, I smoked in the womb.
I don't want a cigarette. <laughs> I don't think our opponent is, is with us anymore. Rip. <laughs> Pack of cigs, a two liter of coke, and a brick of cheese. That's how you get those deep blows. Where does the brick of cheese come into play? Because it makes you raspy. Lef does it really? Yeah, like cheese and like dairy will make you like phlegmy. I thought that was, a, I think that's an old wives' tale though. Let's look it up. Lafove is a great New York City friend who is responsible for getting me deep into magic. We formed a weekly draft group full of fellow NYU alumni called Draft Boys, Lords of Luxury. That's amazing. He now lives in LA, is one of the sweetest brewers I know. That's awesome, man. Can Mike be sing us a song about mom in the kitchen? I think he could. <laughs> I got 20 on getting Mike B. Blutered. Is Blutered a word? This is, see, this is just chat hour now because our opponent doesn't want to deal with our our things. So, Yeah, exciting. They have three more minutes before they lose, but I am extremely excited for Dominera because it's not Pirates anymore, but uh, also because it seems like it's... like it it. It brings me those feelings of, of nostalgia for all the things I loved about Magic like 15 years ago. You know, back when like Karn and Urza and Mishra and Teferi, like all those guys were main characters in the story and I'm like super back looking forward to that. when you used to play on a kitchen table? Yeah, that's right. I would say opponent lost connection, but like it hasn't said they lost connection to the game, so I don't know. Yeah, back on back at the old kitchen table. Spider almost never gets to catch stream, and when I finally do, I miss the draft. Lafof, just message me the list on um, on Twitch because links are I have links disabled, but definitely uh, just send me the list because I can't see it. I wonder if you guys know that it gets blocked. All right, so they have two minutes before we. I, if I lost connection, I wouldn't be chatting with you guys, right? <laughs> you guys are looking at me right now on well, the you internet. You never know with Moto. <clears throat> I guess that's true. Well, this loaded, so I have a feeling we're still connected. This is very weird. It's one way to win, I guess. This is very strange. Like, they're going to take it to the to the limit, and then they're going to be like, yeah, I'll play first. They're going to, like, put a timer for, like, nine minutes, and then they're going to be like... Murphy's Law says that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. What is Cole's Law? Cole's Law is a delicious condiment that you get at barbecue restaurants. A, not, not a condiment, a side dish that you get at barbecue restaurants. <laughs> oh, Cole's Law. I got it. Thinly sliced cabbage. Wow. Wow. I'd like to say we're both right. We're both correct in our own ways. Have fun, guys. Don't get better, Mike. Like your new voice. <laughs> Zach Sor, have a good have a good work, buddy. Oh. Alright, cool. They keeps his hand, but then they oh they lost and it probably forced them to keep the hand. Alright, good games. Good games. We did good. Here you can take a look at our deck. Two unfriendly fires, like you do. Got this guy. The Mike Arnold. Thank you so much for tolling stuff. Really appreciate it, dude. You are awesome. And unbannings. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This guy. This 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 beautiful baby. Despiter. Three sailor of means. Two tides. Two coursers. This guy. This thing and these guys. That looks alright. I mean, we're 1-0 right now. Against a really oppressive uh no show deck. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one. The old keep and scoop, a classic. Buddy, they let you mulligan those hands, you know. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Tell me about your chinny chin chin, bro. <clears throat> Tell me a story about your chinny chin chin. How does Mike B. Kajiki Jiki feel about the, the unbannings? I think they're great. I'll keep this hand. Great success. I got 22 on Mike B getting oblongerated. Oblongerated? I don't even know what you're saying right now. 
I'm going to assume they're all synonyms for getting drunk, but boy, you're really, you're really pushing, ba pushing boundaries here. Can you really expect any of your opponents to stick around when Jace is unbanned? They're probably like, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just leaving. What's the point anymore? Swing low, sweet chariot. Gas. Oh, Something man. I'm coming home to you. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> <clears throat> Being an English major doesn't mean I, I literally know the definition for every single word, though. Despite being an English major, they did not have us memorize the dictionary. That's not what it was about. Hmm. That was a that was an elective course you could take: dictionary memorization. Look at this! Look at this Jay's post where people are like mm, a million likes. Hey man, did you uh, did you hit up your boy on Twitter and tell him thank you? Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> I totally did I posted on Aaron Forsyth's wall today and I was just like just wanted to tell you I love you he liked that I have a I have an ongoing uh, like a like a phony feud with Aaron where every time there's a banning an unbanning announcement for modern I'm always like hey man how's that Jace looking finally came through for you so now we're good I knew it. All I had to do was pressure him enough. This is not spam. Oh, LaFofe with the weird Google Docs deck list. All right. I got it. This better not be a virus. God. Really? You're going to show up now? Unbelievable. Get your life together. I almost feel like this is just better here. Or this this is just better here, even though we have this. Yeah, he attacked. He does attack, and he does protect a little bit, too. He doesn't protect at all. No, not really. Oh, look at my boy with the soul tie. All right, I see what you want to do here. See, the thing is, in order to add it to un Iconic ma Okay, you obviously don't mean Iconic Masters, right? Was he in un Iconic Masters? Wasn't he in... You mean I think you mean Magic 25, right? But the point is, they would have to know they were unbanning Jace, like, literal months ago. Like, six months ago. And since then, there have probably been at least two ban and unbanning announcements since then. So, um, I, I definitely don't think they knew back then, because that's... That's a little bit of a conspiracy theory right there. Oh, people have been getting triggered about Jace being unbanned all morning, but it's all these people who like don't really have good arguments for it. And they're always just like, it's just the worst decision ever. I can't believe it. And I've made this point before where like when you take a position like that, it's mostly posturing because it makes you feel like you know something that these other people don't. It's like a position of superiority where you're just like, I should have tapped that guy, but then I was chatting with you guys and I realized it was too late. Well, if we die at two, you know why. I'll know. You gonna counter this? You gonna horn swaggle me? Wow, a cancel. I didn't even know that was in the set. Well, now you know. I don't understand why people are mad about Jace being unbanned when Spell Swindle is legal in the format. Oh, God. Oh, really? Really? Wow, you're just killing all my good things. Everything I love in the world, you're killing it. It's rude. It really is. <clears throat> and our mutiny is not even good here. There's four colors. What the heck? I have no idea what's happening. All right. Well, there's a lot of lands here. Can we draw our phoenix? Hmm. 
Oh god, something. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. You're not wrong. I will take one whole damage. Oh, that's good. That's that's nice. I just want to cast this so I can draw something, but we bounce like the one four. I guess. Ugh, it seems so bad. Super Lad Man, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the science. I really appreciate it. Mama is in the kitchen with onions, and she really needs to get the hell out of there. Cause, good lord, man, you can only cook onions so much, you know. Yeah, then you'll have burnt onions. You don't want that. Yeah, you want to caramelize them just right. You don't want to be burning those onions. Mama doesn't need to be in the kitchen burning the onions. Just give me something here. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. You give me the highest highs and the lowest lows, Magic. Puppy Dog, I said roll bounce that creep, and I have no idea what that even means. Whenever creature enters the battlefield, explores. Okay, well, that's pretty interesting. What? You didn't attack with the... the... Why, didn't you, yeah. why didn't you attack with your 3-2 flyer? Or... Does he... What? I don't understand. Just move past it. Just, <laughs> just let it go. Oh, Lord. You got it. Oh, why did I play this guy? Why did I play this guy? Oh, yeah. That was bad. Why did I even do that? I don't understand. That was the worst play I could have made. I'm literally just reading the chat here, and I, I, I throw this 2-1 out, this X-1 out. Roll Bounce is a movie with Little Bow Wow. Yeah, that, I, we should have known that. Please turn one Urza's mine. I can't. Turn two Urza's power plant. Believe that. Turn three Urza's tower. They would unban something. Place Karn on turn three as powerful as Jace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you just draw three. That's pretty good. Seems good. Okay. I get it. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, five, six. Eleven to six. That's all I need to see here. I keep wanting cancel instead of mutiny. Mutiny seems keeps seeming terrible to me. Whereas cancel, I'm like, yeah, I have tons of stuff to do. I can just counter your thing. Good times, good times. We called the dog onions? What's even going on right now? I could see that if you had a white dog that was kind of fat. Mr. Tofu, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying so. I have been in support of Jace getting an unbanned for a long for a long time. What did you say about fat dogs? Fat dogs. Fat dogs. <laughs> you got R and B singer, you got blues singer Mike Mike B back here. The B is for blues. I call my kid Jace Face. <laughs> oh, that's because his name is Jace, guys. That's not a That's not some kind of obscure reference. Okay, I'm going to look up Spell Swindle because is that the the new one that just makes a bunch of treasures? Oh my god. <clears throat> Better than Force of Will? Only time will tell. Hmm. Mike Barbobly Blues. Oh my god, that's so good, dude. That's so good. It's pretty good. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Where were you last turn? I guess it doesn't matter. You still come down all the same. Like, every time I've gotten into an argument with someone on Facebook or, or whatever, I'm just like, 
Okay, so here's why I think Jace is fine. Modern has this, 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 and this. This deck has this, this, this. This is how diverse the format is. These are the decks that care about Jace. And then the, the other person is just like, we just have to agree to disagree. I guess I'll just screen cap this for I told you so. And I'm like, okay, well, glad you thought about it. Sounds good. Could have played Sailor here, which if we draw land ramps us to this, and if we don't, we lets us play this, but 3-2 is just better here. Big money, Salvia. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Here we go. I like that if they block here, they take four, and if they block here, they take three. That's a good that's a good attack system. How can okay, let's talk about how you think Jace might push a big chunk of mid range decks out of the format. Explain why you think that. Because in my mind, those mid-range decks have ways to attack Jace, multiple creatures. They have Maelstrom Pulse. They have Thought Seize. Uh, the blue decks have counter spells of their own that they can play, including Snapcaster Mage. Uh, you also have Bloodbraid Elf, which was just revealed. I think any mid-range deck is extremely well suited to deal with the Jace. Well, Abrupt Decay doesn't kill Jace, though. Hmm. Hmm. Rah, 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 rah. I hear you. Yep, you're obviously going to do something. Moment of Cravogging. Oh, just, uh, yep. That's pretty good. Block here, block here. It's uh, so not bad. Congratulations. I was going to play this guy because I think it's actually better to use this for black, but I really don't think it does anything on this board, so I'm just going to actually play this guy here. I mean, here's the thing. Let's talk about the mid-range decks, right? Like, if you go tap out to play Jace on turn four, I'm going to respond by playing Collected Company and just blowing you out completely. It's weird to attack with this guy, because now I can get through with this guy. It's weird that our opponent's deck feels better than ours, because it feels really weird. I also wish I had a Merfolk so that these Crashing Tides were instant, but... No bueno. I'm just taking five here? Interesting. You gonna counter this guy? You gonna Swoggle? I'll get my Swoggle on, hop out of bed. Turn my Swog on. Here's the thing, Cody Ganks, you're right about that. I agree with you completely. The problem is that if you're in a point in modern where the control deck feels comfortable to tap out for Jace and still or, or tap cast Jace and still keep a counter spell up, you're probably losing already. Jace is not the nail in that coffin. Like that was already a situation where you weren't ahead. Do they play land this turn? They cast the Amulet, they didn't play a land. Why wouldn't you crack this and play the land you get? That's interesting. I don't want to bounce any of these creatures that they have. <clears throat> 
what are we agreeing to disagree on? Like, what is your what is your argument? Why is Jace so so scary to you? I'm I don't understand. Like, because I feel like I'm making points, and whenever I make a point, the my the, everyone else who I'm arguing with is like, agree to disagree. Guess we don't agree. But they don't actually make their points. <laughs> I'm just like I don't understand. Like we can discuss, we can have a discussion about it. I'd love to talk about why Jace is really good. Oh, of course. Well, we had a good run. Does that do anything? No. I was watching VODs not realizing you were actually streaming. Nice. So we fire this, we just go, we take, we this guy blocks, and then we just, and then we just have no board. It's not great. Crashing Tide's also just not doing anything for us here. I don't want to bounce this guy or this guy. I'm just going to pass, I guess. I don't think we do anything here. Congrats, your son is now unbanned. Nice. Good lord. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we kill one of these, they no longer draw three, they draw two, so we're denying them two cards. It's a two for one. I guess. And we're not going to win with unfriendly. We only have two unfriendly fires in the deck, so we're not going to win by going to their face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's better. I like that. I tell you what, if if, if modern becomes thirty percent J sticks. I will. I don't know what I'll do. That's that sounds unbelievable to me. See, now we'll just bounce this, and if we want to trade, we can deal two. Was he ever really going modern before? No. So there's literally no evidence whatsoever. I mean, oh wait, he was legal in like extended and stuff, right? Yeah. And I think I, I extended was a Dominic. much smaller format. Also, it wasn't super dominant in that format. People would play like maybe two in a deck. I would be willing to to Jace uh, if he becomes more than thirty percent of the decks, because that sounds ridiculous. I'm thirty percent Jace. Can you milk me? Oh my god. Yeah, Asian Cody Ganks. I definitely understand playing Devil's Advocate. Totally reasonable. Wow, that's pretty good. It's not bad. Our opponent's deck seems great. Really weird, but pretty great. I don't know. The green splash is so weird. You doing okay with it? Maybe. Well, they get this Path of Discovery, which is clearly a, a thing. Oh, that card's insane. I forgot that card existed. Well, we know the Impale's on top, so. I mean, I feel like Nahiri is almost stronger than Jace because it has an inherent combo after one turn. You're like, oh, cool, I can just make a guy. Or uh, put an Emrakul into play. 
It only takes one turn. Uh, well, you put her into play on four. She goes to six. On the very next turn, she goes to eight. So you get to do it the turn after that. Okay. Like... I really wish we had more things that did things. I think we're done here. If you provide a Jace, I will eat a Jace. 100%. Just that one, huh? I'm tapped out. It's, oh, I guess you're at 7, though. I get it, man. Yeah, we just can't keep up with this. This is unfortunately very good. I get an island, sure. We also happen to keep drawing. That's actually pretty okay. I kind of want to save it for the other thing, though. Yeah, I would save it for that. Yeah, that card's a lot scarier. Can we just go to the face? That would be amazing. Deal six to your face. That's the world I want to live in. Yeah, Jace is up to like 150 bucks, I think. Dang. Is that mind sculptor better than all? Oh, he's down to back, he's back down to 130 already. So, already decided to settle down a little bit. I think people underestimate how many Jaces are in the market, and there's also a new set coming out that literally has more Jaces. So, like, it just doesn't make people are like, this is literally a the 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 most sky falling situation ever. So, also, this card is double green to activate and double green to cast. Welp. Welp. Yeah, this game's over. All right. Well, that was that match was not nearly as effective as the first one, unfortunately. Yeah, when your opponent shows up, it's a little harder. <laughs> Touche. Touche. I appreciate your sense of humor, buddy. Scumbag. Oh, God, look at this hand, dude. Finally see this guy. Two islands. Deal. Deal every day. Who came back? I want to put you on the bottom. Really? Yeah, we got Sailor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jund is on top Why is again. Your card blacked out? I don't know, actually. I was wondering that, too. Hmm. Is it illegal? <laughs> Why is this Sailor of Means blacked out? Well, you know what they say. Oh, it's back now. Oh, I'm going to kill that. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here's a gift for you. I got a little crown for you. Heavy is the head, heavy, heavy is the head for the crown. Yeah, something like that. Oh, and they take two from that guy? And this guy blocks it all day? Everything's coming up Millhouse. You know what they say, the head weighs heavy, the crown. Mike B said that quote, man. God. I hate when it comes up because it makes me look like I don't know the quote. I totally know the quote, man. I swear. They have two cards in hand. My word. My, my, my. Yeah, we're just going to Phoenix. Look at that beautiful baby. That's a chicken. Look at that beautiful chicken. Look at all those chickens. What's that from? It's a, just, look, just Google and look at all those chickens. Oh, God. It's going to be from Zelda, isn't it? No. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yes. Oh Lord. We should attack, right? And let me bounce this guy or something. Their last two cards have to be removal spells to deal with this thing. What an unfair magic card. Yeah, flying is broken. <laughs> yeah, the flying part is what's broken. I mean, it's good. It's definitely where you want to be. That card would be way worse if it didn't fly. Oh yeah, but it also wouldn't be a chicken, so it's true. Oh, I guess we won. I don't know what right, happened. This is not a chicken stream. This is a chicken stream. What did you just say to me? How dare you? <laughs> Look at this. Like, it's like modern isn't worth playing. What's wrong with people? I don't understand. I am drinking water with a little bit of fruit punch crystal light in it. In a water bottle. Any hand with this phoenix like in how it. how you told them what glass you were drinking out of, isn't it? Well, because I imagine they asked me based on they saw the water bottle, and they were like, what is that? I want to know what that drink is, because they probably thought it was the, the marketing, the brand bottle. So I clarified that it was not indeed a, any kind of brand bottle. It was just a water bottle. And I hate you, so shut up. Do you ever think about that, you <laughs> stupid Mitch? <laughs> God. Why are, you, why are you like this? Maybe Bibbly Jibbly Joe might be. That's what you say. What was your quote, you dummy? Oh, they didn't do anything. Kite sail Corsair better than all. He's dead. Oh boy. That's sad. Look at that beautiful chicken. <laughs> oh, why would you add that? Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at this. We don't even have to use our, our thing. Look at all those chickens. The Fat Naya Dino deck? I feel like we've drafted the Fat Naya Dino deck like a bunch of times. And lost with it a bunch of times. But we also won. I'm going to block here because if you want to like kill this guy with a trick, you're welcome to do so. He's probably just getting his raid on. Yeah. Yeah. True story. True story. Do you remember when um, the real world was on, and then they were like, "They that's how it sounded in the intro to the real world." Remember the real world? Do you remember it, Michael? What the real world? It was a it was an MTV show. Oh yeah, what about it was it? about when people stopped being polite and started being real. Do you remember that? Yeah. And they were picked to live in a house. So they were total strangers. Seven strangers picked to live in a house. Oh, Chad next week. Not is it next week or the week after? It's next week. Chad on Wednesday wants to. He's he's in, he's going to be in town. Chad Bra Chad Bradbury, and he wants to go to like Maggiano's with us. Are you cool with that? I could probably fit that into the schedule. <laughs> you you got to wake up in time though. Oof. We'll see. Will we? Well, we... I'm going to bounce this dude and you're going to cancel You're going to counter it? I don't have four mana, I'll be honest with you. You have three mana, is that enough? No. Oh. I will attack and if you want to block, then we can have a battle. A block battle. A block battle. They didn't block. I block a battle. You block the battle? I block a battle. Okay, well, that's good. What did you, did you hear back from work today? They were like, hey man, you'll have to come in? Yeah. He was like, that's fine. All right, cool. Chad called you Mike Barbatlio. What is this? River's Rebuke? Really? This is where you want to be when Jesus comes back? That's pretty brutal, actually. It's not great. Land? They have no cards in hand, though, so now we can actually just go Sailor into Phoenix, and I feel like we're just fine here. Are you dying? 
I need you to not die when we're hanging out because it's really it's really a hindrance to me, man. I can't really help it. Oh, this card's gonna be real annoying now. Now we have a unblockable hex proof. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're probably dead to that guy. Send me an angel. Just gotta race it. Right now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to race it. Not with that attitude. That's fair. Good lord, man. Not being able to block that dude is real real frustrating. They didn't actually play their other guy? Hmm. Well, we are going to be racing, so that's a thing. Why don't you attack with a 1-4? Because we have... We, these are two ones. They, we got to block all of it. We got to block all the things, man. Ooh. That's a thing. I think we got this. I don't know, man. It's going to be close. If they have the like the 3-3 the three, three flyer guy, then we're dead. <sighs> we literally have four mana, too. We can't even unfriendly fire it. Dang. That was your top deck. You literally had to top deck this. And now we just can't do anything. That's pretty 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 remarkable. Actually, Mutiny seems fine in this matchup. That's really frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, not great. hand is not great this is a draft it is not popper do mulligan this hand we have to mulligan this hand right it's just terrible yeah. this is not much better but All right, well, they didn't have a one drop, which is nice. Also, we have to consider that they do have Rivers Rebuke, which is pretty busted. And they have double black, which is interesting. So this guy's going to get Moment of Craving. It's the only reason you keep the mono black hand. So, nope. Wow. I am utterly shocked at what's going on right now. Oh, no raid, huh? That's a dude all bounce. No raid. So next time we can play Pillage and Discard Mountain. Seems good. Wow, four mountains in your three color. Is it three color deck or is it two? Are just blue black? I think they're just blue black. Okay. What if we put Crown on this guy? Is that good? Um, I mean, they're going to block, but they take six. Uh, this guy's a six, so they'll take four, trample over, two, and then two. So they'll take eight damage. It is a good amount. It's a real good amount. I don't know if that's better, though. I guess we're just going to attack and see what happens. I feel like we can definitely do well here. With the way the game is positioned right now, where we have things and they seem to not. Mm, 
this car island. Could play Sailor here. <clears throat> we should place one with two. Yeah, it seems right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We can actually do one, two, three, four. Wait, what? There we go. We need black. This guy. And yeah, we can get in there for one. So any card we can play next turn along with Crown gives us the uh, the City's Blessing, which is nice. Also, giving this guy Trample seems pretty insane. Uh, there's no way I'm blocking that, so I'll take two. You're probably just going to raid something, which is fine, but you didn't do anything. All right. Why do you attack there? Impale is not an instant. Oh, I guess we're just going to draw a card. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, we didn't have City's Blessing, so never mind. But we couldn't have anyway, so we only have nine permanents total. Hmm, yeah, okay. I went to Jeff Hoogland's stream and made the comment, I think Bloodbraid will make more of an impact than Jace. Jeff instantly turned, timed me out for five minutes, told me when I was done my timeout, I could use my words to explain myself. Is that, that's a really weird thing to do. <laughs> Why would you time someone out over that? It takes more effort for me to like go into the, the, the settings and like time someone out than it actually is to, that's, that's weird to me. Don't mess up, Jeff. I want to put it on this guy because I really don't want you to kill this guy. So we're just going to put it on here. Could have also killed your guy, I guess, but this actually gives us a 4-4. Four, four. Tap your guy. I really just wanted to draw the card, so... I mean, dealing extra three damage is also not terrible, so. Yeah, considering the top, the last two premiere. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. 2 1 seems fine. Got a rekindling Phoenix. Not too bad. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching this on YouTube. And also be sure to toss some thoughts on the uh, Jace and Bloodbrain unbannings in the comments. Looking forward to hearing those. And I will catch you guys next time.